How many of you have seen anything interesting, eye-catching, or even beautiful on Macaulay Avenue in the past two to three decades? No? <laughs> Me neither. Uh, none of the 13,634 people who make their way down Macaulay each day have either, except for maybe ugly boarded up buildings, chalky paint jobs, and lots and lots of graffiti. Nothing. When I moved to Highland Park, I didn't like how ugly the stretch of Macaulay was. It really, really bugged me. I decided we didn't have to settle for this. We could do better. And I thought to myself, wouldn't it be better if it wasn't ugly? Yeah, it would be better if it wasn't ugly. I started painting murals in Chattanooga a couple years ago. Uh, I've done enough work around town to see what street art and public art on a wall can do for an area. Um, it's obvious to me when I see it, but also when people come up to me and I see their reactions. Uh, it's not uncommon to have somebody come to me while I'm working and say, we love this work, it's so great. I, I've got to bring Aunt Bessie here to see this next week when she comes to town. Or, um, we have family coming in for Christmas and we are going to bring them by here to see this. They're going to love this. Another time, I was painting on Fraser Avenue and I was 15 feet up on a ladder. And I had uh, sunglasses on, a paintbrush in my hand, and uh, earbuds in my ears. And while I was working, I thought I heard a noise behind me. <laughs> and so I turned around, and there across the intersection was the big red double-decker bus filled with people taking pictures, waving, cheering, but all of them going, paint, 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 paint. It was a very gratifying moment, but it also drove home the idea that this art makes a difference. To take an ugly wall and to put something on it does things for an area. And at that moment, the plan for what would become the Macaulay Walls Mural Project was born. So, now what? It doesn't necessarily matter who paints what on a wall, or even necessarily what exactly it is. As long as the person takes the time to do good work and make it meaningful, they don't have to be a professional muralist. They just have to care enough to put something on the wall with pride. Now what? Well, that's the easy part. We all knew that we wanted to live in an area that wasn't ugly, boarded up, badly painted, graffiti. We'd make the area beautiful so people who saw it or lived there or passed through could enjoy the experience. Number one, we'd bring in stellar artists from around Chattanooga. And not just bring them in and let them work for exposure, but to actually pay them. Pay the artists for their work. Number two, we'd start to try and build a sense of respect for the area by bringing in our neighbors and especially their children to paint on the buildings. Number three, we might even be able to entice new neighbors and new businesses into the area with the work we'd done. Oh, and we'd also put up some astounding artwork on the walls by some of Chad Nuda's most talented people. Not a bad idea. Now what? Funding, that's what. We had to find funding to make this happen. We pitched the idea to make work, and they liked it, and they funded it. They became our first patron, if you will. And then Unfoundation, and then Arts Build, and then the Tennessee Arts Commission, and then the Greater Community Foundation of Chattanooga, and then Causeway. And as more and more people heard about the project, the more and more people came to us with funding. The Highland Park Neighborhood Association jumped in with both feet. They've been helping us with food for artists, drinks for artists, ice cream for artists, paint, brushes. Everyone seems really excited about the project. And that's what makes this so fun, is it's not work. Everybody is helping with this and it's become a pleasure to work on. I went door to door on Macaulay asking all the local businesses who would be interested in participating in this project and who wouldn't. Of all the doors I knocked on that day, do you know how many people agreed to work with us and donate wall space to the project? All of them. Every business you see on Macaulay will eventually have some sort of mural on their building. People really like the project. They seem to really respond to it and they really want to be a part of it.
Wouldn't it be better if the walls weren't ugly? Yep. Now what? Well, that's for you to find out October 25th.